So friends, again in this time you have to calculate the equivalent resistance of the Q a network of 12 resistances connected in a uh, form of a Q across AB. But in this time AB is the point on same phase along opposite diagonal of a Q. Previously it was uh, across opposite diagonal of the Q but here in this time it is uh, the two points A and B are located on same phase of a Q and opposite diagonals. Opposite diagonal along the opposite diagonal of the same phase. So here also let us see uh, how these resistances are actually connected. Now if you will see the current is entering at A and reaching at B. So in the previous problem we are talking about the symmetry of resistances, electrical symmetricity of the resistances how these resistances are connected here also you can see if you study the two branches which one is moving from A to C and another is going from A to D here A to C it is written from A to D and again it had to go to B so it is again going at B and at C and D there are different branches here right so we can say that the two roots A C B and ADB are electrically symmetrical, right? So, suppose now what for these things? AG, so this is entirely different. So, this AG, EF, H, and B, this, this will not be symmetrical. So, what you will do here? You will short circuit the point on same potential. So, if the two branches are symmetrically located, then corresponding point, point C and point D will be on same potential right so here you will short circuit the point of same potential so if for equivalent circuit this is point a right and this point will be c and d this point will be c and d and again this point is b right so we have to find the equivalent resistance of the circuit across a b the current will entry at a and it will leave the cube at B. Right? So if this C and D will be symmetrically located, now you just arrange the resistance. Now A C. A to C there is one resistance. So here A to C there is one resistance. Now A to D there is another resistance. D point is same as that of C. So this is A to D, this is another resistance. Again C to B one resistance is there and D to B another resistance is there now this is the arrangement of resistances in the top phase now what for this now the third branch now if the two branches are symmetrically located we just study for the third branch so here this point is G so we will write this point is G and from B this point is H. This point is H. Now, if we will study the circuit from D to H, we again see the current will divide it in this way. You just see my hands. The current will go through this route in this way to H and through this route. Again, here at E, certain extension of branch is there and also a certain extension of branch is there. So we can say that from G to H, the, there is a symmetry. Now the current will divide it here from G to E and G to F in equal parts and it will reach E and F which will be symmetrically located. So again we can say that here E and F will be symmetrically located. Right? E and F will be symmetrically located. We can write it downward. So this point is E as well as A. Now just arrange the resistances. A to G, one resistance is there. So this is the resistance A to G. Now there are G to E and G to F. G to E, E and F is same point. So here this resistance is there, G to E. And G to F, this resistance is there. Right? From E to H, E to H, one resistance is there. And from F to H also, one resistance is there. So, 
the bottom resistances are connected in this fashion. Now what for this arm? H to be this one. So total 4 and 4, 8 plus 2. Total 10 resistances is there. Now 12 resistances, this from C to E and D to F. It just is C to E. Now this point is C and this point is so one resistance is there. And D to F. D point is same. This is D. And A. A point is same. So this is the arrangement of resistance set. Or we can say that this is the equivalent circuit. Right? This is the equivalent circuit of Q. Mind it, you have to calculate the equivalent resistance across AB. Now what you will do here? Again, we can use the same trick. The two resistances are in parallel. So, this will be R by 2. Now, the Q will have each branch of resistance small r. This is also R by 2. Here, R by 2. This is R by 2. And this is also R by 2. Right? So, again, we will draw some equivalent circuit. So what we'll do, this point is A, this point is A, and this is B, right? We just study from, now this point is C and D, and this point is E and F. This point is E and F. So we just put the returns here. from A to C and D, A to C and D. This is a single returns, equivalent returns R by 2. So, this returns R by 2 is there. Right? Here is from CD to B, R by 2. So, this is also R by 2. Again, from A to EF. Now, this is R by 2 and this is R. So, R and R by 2 in series. So, this will be R plus R by 2. That is 3R by 2. From A to EF. From A to E F. If we talk for equivalent returns from A to E F, then it is R plus R by 2. And R plus R by 2 means 3R by 2. So this is 3R by 2. And again from E F to B, this is R by 2 and this is R. This is in series. So R plus R by 2. So again it is 3R by 2. So this is 3R by 2. And what for? CD to EF, that is CD is same point, EF is also same point, this is R by 2, so this is the R by 2. Now, this is the equivalent circuit of this network, right? So here, you will study the circuit, this is R by 2, R by 2, and 3R by 2, 3R by 2, R by 2, R by 2 is equal to 1, and 3R by 2, 3R by 2 is equal to 1, 3R by 2 divided by 3R by 2 is 1. So this is a completely balanced circuit. This is a completely balanced circuit and then this CD and EF will be on same potential. You just see the CD and EF will be on same potential. So this play will, uh, this resistance will play no role and it will not receive the circuit. Middle resistance is just in way. It is useless. The middle resistance is useless. So what for RAB? Now the, you just see. This is in series R by 2 plus R by 2, that is R, R by 2 and R by 2. This will be R and what will be 3R by 2 plus 3R by 2, this will be 3R. So of course, what will be RAB? RAB will be equal to R parallel 3R, R parallel 3R and we have, this is R parallel 3R and it is product by some, as you know, in case of parallel resistance, so it is R into 3R product divided by some R plus 3R, that is 4R, and so it get cancelled, so this will be equal to how much? 3R by 4 ohm, this will be answer to your problem, right? So this will be answered. Now, I will just uh, Say one thing here also. Now, if you will study a circuit, the answer is 3R by 4, it is already known. What do you have to see? The resistance here from CD to EF, it is R by 2, that is 2 resistance. From C to DF, you just see, C to DF. Now, in this circuit, 
the two resistances are useless because C, D, E and F will be on same potential. So you can write ki when studying the circuit, the point C, D, E and F will be on same potential. So this resistance, resistance from C to E will not resist the circuit and again the resistance from D to E, this will also not resist the circuit, right? So you just, you can find the equivalent circuit here. This is a resistance of four, uh, this is network of four resistances. So this is an equivalent resistance R. Again here, this is network of four resistances. This is also a R. This is R, this is R. So what we see, they get from balance, restore with, we know that the resistance of the five resistances, the middle resistances vanish. So this will have a resistance R. This will also have resistance R. So here also from A to B. Now this is R. This is R. And this branch is parallel to this one. So R plus this one R plus R. 3R. And R, that is R parallel 3R which will give product by sum. So we will have 3R by 4. So this is how we can solve the electric circuit. Okay. Thank you.